We have plenty of sunshine right now with some early morning fog continuing to lift its way off to the north and heading into the afternoon. You can expect pretty quiet conditions and that will continue for your Thursday. Temperatures back in the mid 40s Thursday afternoon with just a few more clouds that will increase throughout the day. And then on Friday, we'll see a rain snow mix building back on in with temperatures on Saturday trying to climb back into the 40s. But I think we'll hold on to even still a low chance for maybe a few flurries, maybe a little bit of some light rain here and there. So here's our next system that we're tracking that brings this mix right now back off to our west area of low pressure will continue to dig its way off to the east over the next several days. And here's the timing right now as we head into your Thursday. Once again, we're dry, but clouds building on in heading into Friday morning. It's going to be a cold start to the day, cold enough for us to quickly see snow Friday morning and temperatures trying to warm up above freezing Friday afternoon, which would give us a little bit of really just some light rain then Friday afternoon and maybe even a little bit more than this model right here shows. But nonetheless, we're not talking about a lot of snow or a lot of rain with this event. Saturday morning, we could wake up to some few flurries as the atmosphere really tries to wring out what moisture we have left and we'll continue to look at maybe a light rain few light flurries Saturday afternoon but you notice overall we're mostly dry now how about total wise once again it's not a lot I think we could see about an inch or less mostly on grassy surfaces but we could see a few slick spots on the road nonetheless so be extra cautious getting out Friday morning and then heading into Friday afternoon I think our temperatures once again continue to warm up above freezing few spots though could see some isolated higher amounts but once again this isn't going to be our big system the bigger system arrives next week as we head into your Monday we'll be tracking this big area of low pressure and it will continue to move on in Monday and Tuesday bringing us rain then transitioning over into snow and once again this is a stronger system and we'll see really strong winds wrapping around this slow which will help pull in a lot cooler air and also very breezy winds making it bitterly cold. So timing out this next system Monday we'll look at rain chances building on in throughout the day as the system continues to track its way a bit closer. More so right now the rain looks to arrive in the afternoon and evening hours quickly after dark trying to transition over into snow and I think as we head into your Tuesday as the low moves a bit closer we move into this zone right here which is really good for building snow and we'll continue to look at snow as we head through the day on Tuesday for now. But once again, we're still several days out from this heading into Tuesday afternoon. It's trying to hang around and here's kind of the headlines accumulation Monday and Tuesday looks likely for rain and snow and then strong winds will make it bitterly cold with some pretty rough wind chills out there. But be sure to check back for the latest updates to that forecast as we head closer to Monday and Tuesday and we can fine tune some of those details for you. Today, temperatures back in the mid to even a few upper 40s by around 8 o'clock. We're in the mid 30s and overnight lows tonight will continue to drop back in the mid to upper 20s out the door in the morning. Seven day forecast shows the warmest days today, tomorrow, and then even on Monday, we're still back in the mid 40s, but rain moves in. We're a lot cooler Tuesday and Tuesday. Our temperatures will actually drop through the day and I think we'll spend the afternoon mostly in the 20s.